Hello there, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day on this 10th day of July. I hope you're having an amazing day. This is brought to you by the Into the Light Bible Study that just came out, uh, actually just last month. Uh, it's put out by Lifeway, and it helps you to work through issues of healing in your own life so that you can also be um, one of those kind of people that brings light to other people to help others heal from their hurts. And I don't know about you, but some of the greatest times in my life truly have been when I've been a part of the instrument of helping someone heal from the past. This study will help you do that. You can get it wherever books are sold and of course at lifeway.com. So thanks Lifeway for putting that out. There's also a video study uh, attached to it. You can go through it by yourself or you can study it in groups. And the video study is me teaching. So that's kind of fun. It's my first time having that happen. All right. Uh, We are in Acts chapter 10, verses 24 through 29 in the voice. This is what it says. They arrived in Caesarea the next afternoon just before 3 o'clock. Cornelius had anticipated their arrival and had assembled his relatives and close friends to welcome them. When Peter and Cornelius met, Cornelius fell at Peter's feet in worship. But Peter helped him up. Peter said, Stand up, man. I'm just a human being. They talked and entered the house to meet the whole crowd inside. Peter said, You know I am a Jew. We Jews consider it a breach of divine law to associate, much less share hospitality with outsiders. But God has shown me something in recent days. I should no longer consider any human beneath me or unclean. That is why I made no objection when you invited me. Rather, I came willingly. Now, let me hear the story of why you invited me here. Mind if I pray for you? Oh, Jesus, we're so grateful. (laughs) I'm so grateful. None of us is to be called unclean. We are all welcomed into your family. Lord, thank you um, for, I could just picture this. Lord, help, thank you so much for the fact that there's so many stories in the Bible that we can place ourselves in. Help us to place ourselves firmly in the middle of the story. In the courtyard where Cornelius has gathered all of his friends and family, he knows something divine and amazing is going to happen. He's a God-fearing person and he is sent for someone who's going to deliver the good news to him. So of course he has a party, of course he gathers all these people and I can just imagine the excitement and the anticipation of what's going to happen. And Lord, I love too that um, Cornelius fell at, I don't love that he fell at Peter's feet, but I love Peter's response that he said, I'm just a human being like you. And Lord, help us to understand that. Lord, we live in a world of hierarchy. This was a Roman centurion. This is someone with great power. And here he was kneeling before Peter. He was willing to humble himself before another human being. This is really powerful, Lord. Lord, he understood, even though he was misguided, he understood that something greater than himself was here. And Lord, help us to understand that as well, that all of us are just fellow human beings on this pathway toward you. We struggle, we battle the darkness, uh, but there's no one higher, there's no one lower. The kings of the world, um, they may have pomp and circumstance, but they are no greater in your eyes than the lowest of servants. And so, Lord, we thank you so much that Christianity is for all people. It's not for the great and mighty merely, and of course, it's not just for the lowly as well. It's for all of us. So we thank you so much for your extended arms on the cross. It's as if you were welcoming us into the family with your arms outstretched like that. And of course, we know that the penalty for our sin is death and the death on the cross is what you did. And the beautiful resurrection is what um, enabled that embrace to bring the whole church together. Lord, help us to have a wider view of the church of Christ around the world, not just of our own little congregation, but the fact that there are people that are very different from us who worship you. 
Lord, thank you so much that you are an international God. You're certainly not an American God. You are the God of this world. You love every human being. For God so loved the whole wide world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. We are so grateful for that good news and we rest and revel in that today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. I'm grateful for you. Shine where you are. God has placed you in your unique position in this world to be a light to the nations where you are. So shine brightly today, friend.